All right, folks, welcome back. With crime surges across the U.S. at an all-time high, New York has reacted to the latest act of horror, the, tw the death of 20-year-old mother po uh, shot point-blank, folks, on the Upper East Side. Many people out there, obviously, scared to death to even walk outside. This woman had a stroller with her. Many wonder what can even be done. Here to discuss is former New York congressman, former FBI agent, and retired U.S. Marine Corps, Michael Grimm. Sir, welcome to the program. Good morning, Carl, and I, I wish we were, you know, talking about something that was fun and, and you know, 4th of July and how great the country was doing, but once again, and this, I think, is, is the heart of the problem, this is a horrific tragedy, mm -hmm. but say that. However, crime overall is becoming consistent. It's regular. It's every single day, and as someone that works in Manhattan, I'm in the city all day long. I lived one block, bro. I lived on 96th Street right off of Lexington. This was 95th right off of, of Lexington. It's, it, it, it takes you, it has to take a second back and say, what happened to our city? And, and unfortunately, I know the answer because I know our cops. Uh, I know the NYPD very well. I was an FBI agent in this city. Uh, I worked with the FBI for almost 13 years right here out of Manhattan. They know what they have to do. Rudy Giuliani came in as mayor and started with the broken windows theory. You had Bernie Carrick as the police commissioner, and they figured out that if you if you watched all the small petty crimes, even if it was just mm -hmm. graffiti or a broken window, where, where, you know, where you get the name from, and you crack down on that, tur turnstiles, people jumping turnstiles, not paying right. their fare, all of those things, guess what? You were able to also lessen the big crime, the violent crime, yeah. and that's not what's happening in New York City. Yeah, exactly. It's like our, our city is like. Look, you and I spent time in the military. It's we're not in Fallujah. We're in Manhattan. I mean, it's it's crazy. <laughs> in six major cities, when New York obviously tops the list, reports of homicide, rape, assault, robbery—they're all on pace right now, Mike, to break 2021 levels. Halfway through the year, it's a 25.8 percent surge thus far in violent crime. I mean, at a time like this, how does someone like Kathy Hochul get up there and say, I don't need data to, pr to put gun policies forward to keep lawful citizens from protecting themselves? Carl, you're hitting the nail on the head in several different ways. Number one, right, you just said this is not Fallujah. Well, guess what? It's not. It's more dangerous right now to be in, this, in the large cities. But what do they all have in common? They all Democrats. have one thing in common. <laughs> They're run by liberal <laughs> Democrats, and it's always been this way. And, and why should we be shocked? What did they do for two years? They said, let's defund our police, and they demoralized our police. So regardless of whether they actually cut funding, what they did was demoralize and demonize our police force. Two days ago, the NYPD retired 750 more cops. This is after a record amount of retirements. People do not want to be police officers anymore. All they're told is that they're racist, is that everything they do is, is uh, over, the, over, the, over the top, it's excessive force, yeah. and now they want to take away the qualified immunity so that if, if they get in a, in a situation where uh, a perpetrator makes a complaint, they'd have to pay for a lawyer themselves, they'd have to risk losing their career. They're the ones on trial. So yeah. there's so many things that have gone wrong, but it's all because of liberal Democrat policies, and that's why we are, so we shouldn't be shocked. You know what's crazy is I have a, I have a very good friend back at home in, in Connecticut who does concealed carry permit courses, and he is saying right now, Republicans, Democrats, independents, record droves of women are coming to him and be like, I need to be armed. I need to protect myself because I can't trust people. What do you say, though, to the single mom? Like, I don't know if this mother was single or not, the 20-year-old who was killed with a stroller one block away from your house. What do you say to her when she's sitting there at a town hall meeting like, hey, what are you going to do to protect me? Well, I think if you're a liberal Democrat, you, you know, you, you give the same old platitudes and talking points that make no sense and don't mean anything. In one, think about it. On one side of them out there saying, we don't need police. Uh, we should defund them. They're, you know, we can protect ourselves and we need therapists on the street. Right. And then on the other side of it is, by the way, we don't want you having a gun. We're going to do everything we can, can to restrict your Second Amendment right. So there's, there's no answer, and that's why the Democrat Party is losing people in droves. Mm -hmm. All of those that have a brain in their head, especially if you're a single woman. Look, this was 8, 8 p.m. that this woman was shot, shot point blank. 8 o'clock at night pushing a stroller. It was light outside. This was not a bad neighbor. This is not a neighborhood where people say, hey, avoid that. Uh, you would tell someone out of town, hey, don't go in this neighborhood. It gets a little tough or sketchy at night. No, this was a nice neighborhood. It was, it was still light outside. 
There's no excuse. My goddaughter lives in the 30s on the upper, in the middle of the east side. And I just told her dad, who best friends, he's retired for 35 years in the bureau. She has to move out of the city. It's just too dangerous. God forbid she doesn't even, she's not even allowed. She's 28 years old. Her parents told her, we'll let you live in the city, but you cannot take the yeah. subway. She promised she would never take the Crazy. subway. That's terrible. That's despicable. That's New York City right now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, these policies are just so dumb. It's unbelievable. Michael Grimm, we appreciate you being here. Happy Fourth, sir. Happy Fourth, bro. Good All to right. see you. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.